Hey y'all, Chef I, Rick Sky here, and within this video I'm going to demonstrate how to attach the Masterbuilt Slow Smoker Attachment, or how to attach the Masterbuilt Cold Smoker Attachment to my Masterbuilt Electric Smoker. So, this Cold Smoker Attachment will work with a variety of different Masterbuilt Electric Smokers. So I've linked it, the Cold Smoker, and then also what's technically referred to as the Slow Smoker, but terms are used interchangeably. And I've also linked the uh, Masterbuilt Electric Smoker like I'm going to connect it to within this video. This is my first time connecting and probably what I'm going to do within a future video, I've seen a lot of people that have rigged up uh, a pipe because I, I, I keep this outside permanently covered, but I don't want to store this outdoor. So while it's not in use, I want to be able to quickly take it off and then put it, when it cools down, uh, store it indoors. But so to attach it, basically what you do, now this is the standard wood chip reloading mechanism that comes in this master built electric smoker. Again, I've linked it within this video's description. Does a great job, super convenient, couldn't ask for more. But if you're wanting to slow smoke cheese, cold smoke cheese, you're going to have to have this because what this does, this heats up the wood chips and it just pumps in the, uh, the smoke. So in the, in the scenario of smoking cheese, I will not plug in my electric smoker. I will only plug in the cold smoker attachment. So this right here, we're gonna set to the side. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do, this comes with a, it's, it's like a wing nut type thing where you can put it in and you can tighten it. Since I'm using, as I mentioned, I'm, my intention is to remove this after every smoke when it's cooled down because I don't want to store this outside. So I took the little, it's just a wing nut and a, looks like a hex key type thing. I took that out so that I can quickly and easily untether it from my electric smoker when I put them both in storage. But I will be doing a future video where I'm going to retrofit a pipe. So that, that's a future video. So let's go ahead and plug this in. This right here is where the wood chips will go. I'm just going to drop this in here. And then all we do, and this has feet that are adjustable, so depending upon the, the type of compatible master-built electric smoker that you're using, you may have to adjust the feet. And see, that just plugs into that. And then boom, now we've got our electric smoker. And you can see here, I've got one grate in there, because what I'm what I'm going to do today is I'm going to smoke some cheese. So my first time using the Masterbuilt Slow Smoker Attachment, the Masterbuilt Cold Smoker Attachment, I'm going to be smoking some delicious cheese. So, but yeah, that's how easy it is. You know, nothing, uh, nothing complicated about it. Again, if you wanted a more permanent type connection, you could use the, uh, and I've got it right here so you can see what it is. Um, you can use this little doohickey with the, uh, you know, the, with the wing nut on it, and you can put this in there and and then you can tighten it down so it's more of a permanent type attachment to your master built electric smoker but I'm I'm opting to not use this and so yeah it's that simple man I mean now all I got to do is load my wood chips and get my cheese and start smoking so cold smoking because again I won't be plugging this in only the cold smoker attachment for my cheese so that's how to attach the Masterbuilt Slow Smoker Attachment to a Masterbuilt Electric Smoker, how to attach the Masterbuilt Cold Smoker Attachment to an Electric Smoker. So, man, that, that part was easy. Tell me what you think within the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe, ring that bell when you do, and uh, that'll notify you whenever I post another video. Check out my Masterbuilt Electric Smoker video playlist. I've got a ton of videos now and thousands more videos for electric smoking coming soon. So subscribe and ring that bell. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.